Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Shovelware's Brain Game. Now, this looks like some type of game show Roblox game, and if there's one thing that we can all agree on is that I'm the smartest YouTuber on this platform, and I'm also lying right now, so if you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! Choose a category. Nonsense, it's non squirters. Lit, Wait, what was that? It's time for a literacy test. How well read are you? Is that the bonus prize chime? Darn right. Show them, nephew! Cabbage! And the cheap Kind too. What's Look, the expensive I only had like? so much budget to get these prizes together, okay? This was gonna be my dinner. Thanks. Wow, what a cool prize. Let's hear the question. Alas, poor Yorick. Uh, lying? I knew he was sus. I knew him not. I knew him well. I knew him Horatito. I don't even know what that is. I knew him Horatito. It's time to clothe yourself with knowledge. It's the big laundry category. I just did big laundry so earlier today. So imagine you're in a clothing ready. store. You overhear a conversation between two people. Oh, there. yeah. I'm totally into beanies right now. Beanies, huh? No, I'm more into deer stalkers. I mean, how fetching, right? Deer stalkers? What is this? The 1800s? No, if you're gonna pick a weird one, it's gotta be fezzes. What type of clothing are those two weirdos, I mean people, <laughs> talking about? Those two weirdos, <laughs> I mean people, are talking about... Types of hats. Yes! I did it! A deer stalker is what you usually see Sherlock Holmes wearing. Cool. All right, shout out to Sherlock Holmes. Um, excuse me. Should I be taking notes on this? Shut up, Broccoli. Um, no, this isn't school. This isn't school. Thank you. What category do you want? You better pick something good. I don't like that Zoo Pals or Zoo Pals. Zoo pals. Okay, I'm good with the animal ones. Do you know things about animals? Let's find Ants. out. Ants! Ants man! There's a lot of those guys all across the globe. No picnic is safe. But how many ants are there? Like, total. There's gotta be at least like 20 quadrillion. You can't say that on TV. I can't, but I did. Yep, I'm right. I didn't even know quadrillion was an actual thing. Do you know all the obscure shovelware studios lore and trivia? Let's find out. Sure, this is if my first time hearing about this. If you played a shovelware this. game, you should know this one. Well, Press I guess the I don't know. Blank it. to double jump. Come on, let me hear ya. Space bar. Joust button twice. Jump button twice. Jump button thrice. Please jump button twice. Amazing. Did I get it? Am I him? Please, I'm him. That's just like the standard for double jump, right? Pressing space twice. I guess they were trying to fool us to lead us into a different direction, but I know better. I told you, I'm the smartest YouTuber. What? Yo, did I burn in hell? I'm actually the dumbest person on the game show that I literally burst into flames. Questions, you want it? It's yours, my friend, as long as you pick a category. Okay, it's my turn again. Let's do this, everybody. We got Amazing Space, I don't like that. Talking about states. I'm good with the talking states. Talking about states. I'm a geography wizard. Stop the presses, we're talking about states. Which of the 50 U.S. states was the most recent to join the Union? Oh, uh, let's get it, everybody. Come on now. Stop playing with me. It's good old Hawaii, everybody. That's pretty base. It only took over 30 years for the United States to formally apologize for overthrowing Hawaii's older government. We've got a very special guest backstage. Come on out, Bordy! Bordy kind of thick. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Ready for your question? Let's do it. Have a look. What is the name of this famous painting by Vincent Van Gogh? This is too easy. I can answer that in my sleep. It's called The Starry Night. Correct. That's the end of the round. Let's see the grand prize. A new cardinal. A uh, new cardinal? I've always wanted a new cardinal. In my favorite color, too? Thanks. Can't wait to ride that. Isn't that price just neat, folks? Let's bring out our grand champion. Please be me. You oh, did man. It. Who the fuck is that? Brain. So it's just me? For the first time this game, it's your turn. What'll be your first category? I'm literally the only one here. So this is kind of like who wants to be a millionaire. Let's go with, I don't like that. I don't like that. I want to know what I don't like. I like that you picked this category. It's I don't like that. I know. Which I'm the US one that picked president it. is known for saying, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. What? Ronald Reagan? So close. That was wrong. Franklin D. Roosevelt. Who? Come on, man. 
All right, let's go with I don't like that again. I don't like that. Because I did not like that question. I have a friend who can't stand spiders. He gets the absolute heebie-jeebies anytime he's around one. <laughs> he can't stand their fuzzy bodies, their eight legs, their numerous eyes. What is the name of my friend's phobia? Entomophobia, arachnophobia, spiderphobia. <laughs> Chorophobia. If I didn't know any better, spiderphobia would have been it. But I've heard of arachnophobia. That works for me. And I feel like I have that low key. I hate spiders. I don't care how big they are. It comes from the name arachnid, which is the type of creature a spider is. Okay, we didn't come here for a history lesson. Just ask me. Wow, I can't believe it. It's your turn again. Get on with the category picking already. All right, show them to me. I would like to see. So we have probably geography, science rules, shovelware studios. Let's go to Shovelware, Shovelware Studios. Studios. The Shovelware. Shovel who? Shovel when? Shovel why? And Shovel how? Hello, me old chums. This question is about the garden gnomes in Super Slime Simulator. Super how many gnomes simulator. are there in the yard stage? Um, I, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna guess four. Please. Please. That's wrong. I don't even know what Super Slime Simulator is. Yeah. Tell him, Pear. Rubbish, I say. My professional critical opinion is that this quiz show stinks. Yeah, tell them, Pear. And I am taking my leave of it. Good day. Okay, there's a gift shop on your right just past the exit. A gift shop? Oh, I just love gift shops. I see we can't get enough of rampant consumerism. Oh, I can't wait. It's just you and me on the stage. Well... Also, one of my nephews. But you can't see him from the camera angle. Pick a category. Memorable events, amazing space, artistic integrity. I'll go with memorable events. Memorable events. Hopefully, I can remember them. Let's explore the mysteries of history. I like the sound of that. I just love that jingle. It means it's time for the bonus prize. It's a clock that's right twice a day. Thank you, nephew. Now, you might be saying to yourself, hey, that's just a broken clock. But no, it's actually not. This thought-provoking art piece dares to ask the question, what if you only knew the actual time twice in the same day? Wonder that all you like if you win this prize. Cool. What an odd prize. Ready to add it to your collection? Let's see. After a series of very interesting time travel related incidents, you just missed it. I'm stuck in the early 1900s and need to get myself a ride. Something cheap. Oh, you know, cars are probably pretty early in their development in this time period. What's the first affordable car? Cadillac Model T Evolvo Farthender? Volkswagen Beetle, I'm not a car connoisseur. I'm just gonna say Cadillac. Survey says, that's not right. I'm so dumb. Go ahead, pick another category. I swear, I've only gotten one right and all the other ones I've been exposed in 4K. Let's go with what's the word. It's the what's the word category. You have my word. I Which better. Which of these is an antonym of the word arbitrary? <laughs> arbitrary? Okay, arbitrary, arbitrary, arbitrary. I'm going to go with random. You've just posted cringe. I'm cringe. I'm cringe confirmed. It's kind of awkward running a game show with only one contestant, you know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm just bad TV. Anyway, it's still your turn. Shock of all shocks. Pick a category. Let's go with math zone. Math My worst zone. subject. Watch me get this right. I hate math. Welcome to Math Zone, the low energy and devoid of action math category. I'm sorry, I'm just What so is 10 times 10? 100. Watch it be a thousand. You got that right. Yes, I'm still here. That's math, all right. Yay. Thank you for the easy ones. Wasn't that a fun and engaging experience? But we're not done yet. Let's see the amazing grand prize for this round, yeah? Do you have a fuzzy little pet you love to pamper? Or maybe you're just someone with a lot of hair. Either way, I've bought up every last bottle of this particular brand of dog shampoo in the immediate area. Astronomically increasing the value of this prize artificially. Poor or dogs that couldn't tub, get shampoo. Or maybe like into a lake or pond of some kind. Because there is way too much of it for you to take home with you. Shame on you for shame. Can you guess who that wonderful prize is going to? It better be me. Why, it's none other than the only person that was playing. Wow. <laughs> yeah, thanks for me. Let's there go. Give me my dog shampoo. So the winner must be you. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I got like two out of six questions right. Hey, the person got merch. Yeah, pair. I see you with the merch. Okay, clap it up for your boy one time. The only contestant in this game. So I have to win, right? And I want to play one more time. I'm tired of being dumb. Like, I don't want to keep taking L's. So let me see if I can go back here. I can't go back there. Okay. Well, um, is there a reason why I can't go back there? It doesn't make any sense as to why. No, I would not like to buy that. Okay, so I'm back over here, and I'm the only contestant again. So let's try to get every single question right. Let's go with it's lit, fam. Because I'm curious. That sound means it's time to reveal a bonus prize. Ooh, I love bonus prizes. Answer the next question right. And you could win this fabulous prize. This Let me get thirsty cool for it. I found outside the studio. Wow. I these Thanks. These prizes can all be winners, but hey, it could be your cool rock. I know. She's a baddie. Bonus prizes are always so exciting. Who the fuck is that? Will you answer the next question correctly and win I it? I like to read, but I only That's read my rock. Get away from stuff. me, Discount like Goku. All time popular. In fact, I just read the best-selling novel of all time. <laughs> it sold so much. It must be super trendy and uber popular. <laughs> um, what was the name of it again? The Hobbit? Damn it! This guy just joined! Pardon me. I was told there would be humorous content on this show. And yet I haven't laughed even once. That's facts. That's factual. Do you want a refund or something? A refund? <laughs> a refund? No, you simple fool. What I want is a much larger. I want. A refund would be quite nice, actually. Well, you laugh now, so you can't have one anymore. Yeah, he laughed maniacally. So now you owe him money. Yeah, sit your ass back down. Happy to have you here. What category do you want? I can't believe that I lost my rock and these people just Taste joined. Test. Taste test. This category has a particular aroma and a tantalizing flavor. It's time for taste test. My friends in Europe have been begging me to try bratwurst. Bratwurst this, bratwurst that. I'm supposed to try it and report back to them by tonight. But I have no idea what a bratwurst even is. Help me out. It's like a sausage, right? Type of German sausage. Yep, I got it right. Bonus prize time. What will it be this time? Please, another the shot at a pet rock. inspiration for that expression we all know and love. It's the straw that broke the camel's back. It's one of those silly straws that are bent into crazy shapes. Coincidentally, this one's meant to be shaped like a camel. If you squint and look at it just the right way. Thought to be lost to time until we came along, this piece of history could now be what breaks your back too. I can actually see the camel when I squint my eyes. Well, ain't that just a fine and dandy prize? Question what time. What is six times four? 24. Oh, we all got the straw. Hell yeah. Flags of the world, amazing space. Let's go with amazing, amazing space. Amazing space. Let me get my Markiplier on. How sweet the sound. We'll be talking about outer space in this category. I've learned recently about the hypothetical eventual heat death of the universe. And I'm really freaking out here, man. How long do we have? A year? A week? A day? You gotta tell me so I can stop freaking out. If we're lucky, a few more years. We're gonna keep this party rocking forever. It was supposed to happen in 2012, right? Can we just say that? Am I allowed to say that on TV? Ah! Watch me do a sick flip off this railing. Okay, do it then, butt chin. Oh, sure, go ahead, let's see it. Do it, do it, do it, do. Wow. God damn, how many bonus prizes are we getting? As seen on TV, it's the all new Dinner Blaster from Harkinian's Home Appliances. Setting the table got you down, cooking meals for the whole family, giving you arm cramps. That look like Those a flesh are a thing of the past I want with it. this patented Dinner Blaster. Simply oh, it's load gonna blast up all the ingredients, right. take aim at the kitchen table, and you'll be the king of home cooking in no time. Never wonder what's for dinner again. Okay. Me. Let's get this show on the road. What is the most common word used in the English language? Oh, hey, I just used it in that sentence. What is? Is? Right? The. It's the. It's got to be the. Not too shabby. It was the. Oh. 
Why am I such a pinche pendejo? Eyes on the prize, talking about states, science rules. Let's go with eyes, eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prizes. I like these categories where I'm not sure what direction it's about to go in. What chain of grocery stores could you win round trip travel compensation to? What? Alberts? Malfs? Ryan's? Marshes? All I know is Alberts, I guess. Ah! Oh, I don't know what any of those stores are. Yo, what's up? I'm the oldest of the dancing banana nephews. I work the cameras. That over there is my younger brother. He's the middle nephew. I pulled the curtain. The one with the clipboard approaching me angrily is my other brother. Get back to the show. Well, that's the end of my inside scoop. Back to you, Uncle Boss Man. It's time for a special guest question. Introducing Bordy the Smart Board. I missed you, Bordy. Well, here I am. Yeah, Sneak a peek. What is the name of this famous painting by Grant Wood? Two old farmer fucks? I don't know. Farmer's Lament, Eustace and Muriel? American Gothic? John and his wife? That looked like John and his wife. Ah, damn you. It was American Thank Gothic. Thank you so much for answering what my in question. the world? Oh bye my bye. goodness, bro. Let's go with Big Laundry. Big Laundry. I'm down for Big Laundry. Here comes the coolest screen around. It's Bordy the Smart Board. That's the homie. That's how I know I'm going to get this uh, right. Smarty always has my back. One question per game. But sure, here's another. Cool. Take a look at this garment from ancient Rome. What is it called? I don't know. Toga? Actually, that sounds right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, yeah, folks. I know you've got a thing going on here, but if I could just make an announcement real quick, that'd just be swell. We've got a dangerous wanted criminal on the loose. Have any of you seen this man? Wow, that's crazy. No, I think I'd remember seeing someone that handsome. Uh-oh. All righty then. Sorry to take up your time. Please resume. We can't believe they're letting us use his likeness. It's Forty the Smart Board. How many times is this guy going to come Another out? Another one? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, here it is. Look at this diagram of a cell. What is the part in the very center called? Fuck. I don't know, nucleus? That sounds right. Nucleus. Yay. You know, I was just reminded of the... What? 1 a.m. Watness Cup Finals, 1.30 a.m. Paid Programming. To put in the effort and you run... I mean, those are really difficult hobbies that I... Slime felt? <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody wants to trade up, I'm, I'm around. Oh, now I'm hungry. What is happening? I don't blame you for changing the channel. I wasn't paying attention either. Eyes on the price. Please do. Nonsense, non sequiturs. Damn it. Insert nonsense here. Who did this? Laughing, crying emoji. The dancing banana? Fuck me. I have no idea what that even meant. All right, everybody, but that's going to do it for Shovelware's Brain Game. I was actually really impressed by that because it was actually a lot of fun for a free multiplayer game. And it had a lot of good voice acting and just a lot of fun elements to it. Even if you were just playing a game show, I feel like a lot of other things were happening behind the scenes. Like the characters were, you know, randomly saying things. The audience was chiming in and saying shit. And it was just cool. It was just cool trying to compete. And I actually thought this was just a cool game that you could play with your friends on Roblox. So once again, I'm impressed with another Roblox game. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode of me playing this game. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!